Flag City, Flag City in Lodi, California. And uh, I am amazed at all of the big motorhomes. I mean, all of those down there came in yesterday and a bunch more. And I am just amazed. There's about six giant motorhomes that came yesterday. And when you walk through this park, that's interesting. RV detailing, car wash, RV washing. There's one going on right down there. Huh. It's interesting. For inside a trailer park, usually they don't allow like any type of maintenance or washing inside your RV parks. Especially when right across the street, because this is like a big truck stop um, exit here. They have like a three bay RV wash, truck wash over there. But I am amazed at all of the big, big fifth wheels and the big motorhomes. Now, the great in these giant fifth wheels, you know, they can cost anywhere from, you know, 65 to $135,000 for these big long fifth wheels. But then you've got the motorhomes, and the motorhomes are, you know, getting $200,000 to $350,000. It's just crazy to see how many of those are on the road. All right, well, I went into the office and I talked to a gentleman, uh, says his name's Steve, and I think he might be part of the owner or manager or something, and he did say, he says, we don't allow videotaping inside the park. He said about a year ago, somebody was videotaping the park, police were called, and uh, he, was a, he was staying in the park, but he was escorted off the property because he refused to stop videotaping. And it is private property, so I'm videotaping outside the park right now. But um, I just wanted to point that out that, the, the, you know, the, the park itself is in really good condition. It's a great location for Central California stops. A lot of people enjoy the park. It's very, I say very healthy. Um, the only negative now, now going a year later, because last year I gave it a really good promotion uh, saying it's a very... You know, with all the food stops, again, McDonald's, Arby's, Carl's Jr., Starbucks, and a new Indian cafe right there, which I have to try. It has a 4.8 review. Look at the line. Look at the... Oh, they're going through Starbucks. <laughs> but they're... Anyways, 142 uh, reviewers on it and a 4.8, which is really good. So that's probably a lot of truck drivers and a lot of RVers. In one year, it's pretty good. Uh, there's a Mexican restaurant. There's a truck and RV washes here. They actually are even promoting a service inside for auto, uh, RV detailing inside. Um, so it's a great park, but the only negative now is you can't videotape or promote them, which seems really silly, right? Who doesn't want free promotion, especially from full-time RVers when you're on the road you want people like me who are doing videos to say, yeah, come to Flag City because it's a great central stop location. Um, they're really nice people. But then I got some feedback. I got some, some flack today from uh, a, a, co -work, a worker that works here. He's a maintenance guy. His name is Phil. And he said, yeah, you don't, they don't allow videotaping. And I just said, I'm just walking around, talking in my phone. I'm not casing anybody's property or anything like that. But he said, you know, so I told him I would check with the office. And the office said, no, you can't videotape. So it's their property. It's private property. I have to abide by the rules. Um, can't videotape. But I did videotape last year. Sorry about that. Um, I promoted promoted the park I think very well and positive 
uh, with all its amenities, the swimming pool, the clubhouse, the dog park. It's got laundry and bathrooms in the four, you know, the three corners actually, and then the center. Very, very well, uh, you know, placed uh, amenities. It's got quite a few full timers, a lot of seasonal, and then a lot, a lot of pass through people that come in on a daily basis, stay for one or two days and then go. Um, and then with all of the amenities right here, uh, food wise, um, it's, 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 a, it's, it's seven miles to Lodi. It's basically seven miles to Stockton or less uh, right here on Thornton Road. Boom, you go straight into Thornton and you're, you're right going into uh, Stockton. Uh, so, or you can take the freeway and be faster. Just be mindful, this is a truck stop location. They have loves on the other side, so there's a lot of trucks here. There's a lot of trucks here parked, getting repairs. There is a truck driving school at the end of the road. So there's a lot of semis that come along the south side road. So I would not want to camp along the south side. Um, there's another road along the west side, which is where we stay. And it's pretty quiet and I wanted to be as far away from the freeway. Despite being a quarter mile away from the freeway, we can still hear this freeway all the way over there. And there is a road that runs into, I can't think it's Highway 12, right through there along the um, side of the trailer park, over the, well, a block over from the trailer park. Um, and you can hear a lot of cars revving up over there. So you'll get a lot of semi trucks turning through here. Now, whether they're going down to the truck driving school or they're parking, but there is, used to be, last year I videotaped, there used to be a lot of homeless at the end of the street on the curve. Now, a lot of truck drivers park there. So I'm not sure what happened, but um, I think it's better that the truck drivers park there than the homeless, because it's, 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 this is a truck stop. So, last year I was here, there was, a, there was an RV parked right where that little white SUV is and uh, they were camping right there so that's gone thank goodness and yeah that's about it I mean it's a great like I said it's a great central location it's south of Sacramento just north of Stockton uh, it's a great stepping stop if you're going to the uh, west you might want to go to Bodega Bay Monterey Santa Cruz that's kind of the direction we're headed it, or it's a great stopping place if you're going to the east if you want to go to Reno or Yosemite um, so good location just I guess just don't videotape in the park it's, it seems pretty pet PV but um, I mean who doesn't want free promotion right that's like the worst business model in the world. Yeah. Anyways, promoting is always good. But I guess some people still live in the dark ages and uh, haven't really realized that word of mouth is the best form of advertisement. All right. There's the Indian Cafe I hope to try. And uh, going today to the Asparagus Festival in Stockton. And... I'm hoping to try some asparagus ice cream, some deep fried asparagus, and uh, I'll let you know if it's good or not, I think. All right, do you know what that is? <laughs> do you know what that is? There's another one right there. That is a scene from my childhood. All right, there's another one. <laughs> You're like, oh, what's so special about a tumbleweed? And that's what it is, the tumbleweed. It's just funny because um, tumbleweeds you'd see like in the old Western movies, they're just rolling across the desert with the wind. And of course, there's nothing usually out in the desert to stop a tumbleweed, so they just keep tumbling. Um, you know, bad if they tumble across and get under your RV, your truck, and stuff like that, they catch fire. But um, when I was a child living here in California, um, we had tumbleweeds that would roll. I remember tumbleweeds, we used to have an almond orchard, and uh, I remember the tumbleweeds tumbling through. And you'd take a whole bunch of those tumbleweeds, and you could stack them up, 
and you can make like a tumbleweed igloo and that's what you know you when you're a kid your imagination runs wild i made tumbleweed forts with the tumbleweeds just wanted to pass it on you gotta you gotta make do with what you got and that's what i had so flag city don't come here if you want to break the rules and videotape inside the park and promote them but do come here because it's well managed it's got great uh, clean bathrooms uh, laundry located in the right spots great amenities lots of food and gas everything close by and you're kind of on the highway so do come here if you want that Asparagus Festival, Stockton, California. We were in line, it was, uh, the line was right here. It's full of people just to get uh, fried asparagus and uh, asparagus ice cream.